Hey everybody, Matt Mayhem here, and I wanted to start a new series today. The series is going to be the Cheap Out Gamer. Basically what that is, is we are going to purchase whatever game for really cheap that would be considered a really decent or quality game, and then at the end I'll actually go through and, and say if it's worth it or not. You know, uh, cause me myself, I, I don't have a lot of money to spend on games and I'm pretty positive most everybody else doesn't either. So you really want your money to count whenever you're buying the game. So if you're going to be getting a cheap game that you're not really sure, you know, you, you're kind of on the edge about it. You're, you're wanting to know, well, is, is this game really worth it? Well, that's what this is for. I'm, I'm going to personally get the game and play it I'll probably even live stream it record it and give you guys review see if it's any good so anywho let's get to the first game first game in the series first game in the series is going to be Alice Madness Returns so I purchased this game off of Steam for five bucks a couple of weeks ago and I played the first one and I really, really liked the first one. I remember whenever it came out on PC, it was a really, really good game. And I, I was kind of hesitant to, to try this because it had been like, I don't know, 10 years almost since it came out. And and the game looked really good, but I, I didn't know. I, I was hesitant, like I said. I, I didn't purchase it right away. I didn't have the money to get it. So, so I have it now. I went through and played it, and honestly... It's it's a fun game. I I liked it. There are a lot of parts of the game that I didn't care too much for, and thought they were kind of thrown in and and kind of forced in against uh, the kind of lore of the story. But I mean I mean for for what it is, if you played the first one and you're looking to play a sequel of it, then th this one works. It's still got all the the kind of weird, you know, morbid. Uh, graphics to it and kind of twisted twisted storyline to it it's just it seems like with some of the lore though it goes back on itself a little bit so so if you do play this make sure you play the first one first so that you get you get an idea of what happened up till this point because there, there there is some some conflicting issues and they go back on the story and they come back forth and and, and so on and so forth but overall the story is is actually really good the visuals of the game, top notch. It actually looks really, really pretty, and a lot of the 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 game is supposed to look really twisted and morbid, and and it's like a demented version of Alice and all this other stuff. And it really sticks. It sticks to what it's supposed to. So so you're good to go there. If um if you're looking for an action platformer that is real fun and gives you something to do for a little while this is the game now the length of the game is I, I in my opinion a little bit short mainly because uh there really isn't a lot of boss fights in the game it's it's merely you know you're going from world to world and and doing whatever is needed in that world to get you onto the next world so in my opinion it's it's kind of cheap but for the price it's it's worth it you normally you're gonna be paying five bucks but when it goes on sale which i've seen it go on sale multiple times at green man gaming and uh, steam i've seen it go on sale uh at a couple of different locations i even saw it go on sale up at uh at best buy the other day so if you can get on sale for less than 10 bucks then yeah go ahead and pick it up and grab it it's it's definitely worth the time if you played the first one also uh sounds really good and it has a lot of uh additional download content to it where you can get different dresses that do you know different abilities it gives a little bit of a replay value to it it makes it interesting to go back through and do do things a little bit differently. It also has a nightmare mode that is like incredibly hard. That if you're if you're looking for something difficult, it's also got that in it too. So if you see this around, make sure you you pick it up. It's Alice Madness Returns. Uh, the original one is American McGee's Alice. So play them and have fun. Mm -hmm. 